So today we have arrived at the Green Hearts family farm. That's a farm in Half Moon Bay, California, uh, about maybe 15, uh, 10, 15 miles to the south of Pacifica. And it's on the Pacific coast. Um, this is a farm that we frequently come to uh, to uh, uh, buy some fresh organic produce. So this is all the produce that we got today from Farmer Paul. This is a big, big box that he gives you. For how, how much does he charge you for this? Today it was $30 uh -huh. for this box. Uh, uh -huh. I haven't even looked inside to see what's in there. Uh -huh. But lots of fresh organic vegetables. Wow, that's and wonderful. In the bag there's more vegetables. That was a bonus. Uh -huh. And then um, uh, we can pick all, all you want tomatoes. Uh -huh. So that's what yeah. this box here is for. Right, right, to right. That's what we're going to do right now, right? Get more tomatoes. Exactly. Okay, sounds great. Okay, let's do it. So I'm going to pick some tomatoes now. If, as you can see, there's a lot of tomatoes growing. Uh, you can just, you have to look for them because they're kind of hiding. But this is amazing how many tomatoes this year. Maybe there's more sunshine. We live in the area that's kind of not, I mean, sometimes there's foggy here. But this year, there's so many tomatoes. And now we're going to uh, take an interview. Uh, from the owner of uh, Green Hearts Family Farm, Farmer Paul. And so here we're very lucky to be able to uh, talk to Farmer Paul a little bit and uh, ask him about the, his farm and what he's doing and, and, and um, you know, this all the great work he's doing for our community. Well, I'm uh, very lucky. It's nice of you to say that. But the mm -hmm. truth is that uh, when I grew up, I knew some farmers mm -hmm. uh, who were the first organic farmers uh, in California. And uh, my parents happened to be friends with them. And so when I became a farmer, mm -hmm. uh, I had those mentors to show me the way mm -hmm. and demonstrate mm -hmm. what you could do as an organic farmer. Mm -hmm. And it really has been an incredible journey. Um, you really can't lose with organic food. Uh, it's a good thing that people love. Uh, it brings happiness and joy, and then obviously sustenance, uh, which is uh, critical in this day and age that we eat healthy food. Uh, and so it's just a pleasure to uh, be able to bring healthy food to, to my community. That's wonderful. Um, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? When did you start? When did you start farming? When did you find found this farm? And uh, just a, a little bit about the challenges and opportunities on your way to farming well when we started we really had nothing uh we didn't uh i didn't go to an ag school i didn't know anything mm -hmm. really about farming i did mm -hmm. grow up in a community of farmers but i you know i went to film school and i thought uh -huh. i'd be a famous movie maker uh, -huh. uh but the truth is i started working on farms organic farms around the world mm -hmm. and uh i met these amazing families that were very happy uh with these beautiful children and i said oh that's what i want to do uh, so when we started, we, we really just, we lived in a tent in our first field. Uh, was it was this? just uh, about 15, 16 years ago, I mm -hmm. think that we started. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, we lived in a tent. We took showers with a garden hose. Uh, <laughs> we went to farmer's markets all around the Bay Area. Mm -hmm. um, but gradually we grew a little bit and then we started our home delivery business. And that really was the difference, was to be mm -hmm. able to take all this beautiful food from a, mm -hmm. a couple, you know, a great collection of farmers and bring it to people's houses. And that really, uh, that's really what uh, uh, makes us special is that we're able to deliver all this great food to people's houses fresh out of the fields. That's wonderful. And um, so as I understand, so you're, you're growing a variety of fruits and vegetables here. Can you tell us with the climate here in Half Moon Bay, what fruits and vegetables are growing well and w what are easy to grow what is difficult to grow the easiest things to grow in half moon bay are brussels sprouts mm -hmm. uh mm -hmm. cabbages uh lettuce onion zucchini mm -hmm. uh now here in half moon bay we don't get a ton of sun during the summer mm -hmm. uh so that really makes it hard you can't really grow the bell peppers uh, or the tree fruit, something like this. You have to get these from a little bit farther away where there's a little bit more sunshine. But here in Half Moon Bay, you can actually grow a tomato 
Yeah. And look at this beautiful tomato that we grew in Half Moon Bay. It's actually uh, grown right here. So you can get away with growing some things that uh, are, are a little hard to grow sometimes. Uh, but the best thing about Half Moon Bay is that it's cool and nice uh, mm -hmm. all summer. So instead of uh, sweating all summer, you, uh, <laughs> you have to wear a coat. Oh, um, so, you know, there are drawbacks, uh, but it's also kind of like always spring in Half Moon Bay. So you can always grow uh, lettuce, you can always grow Swiss chard and kale, things like that. So uh, that's, that's good. Uh, it's, uh, it's definitely not the easiest place to grow, uh, but uh, you can do it. Yeah, no, and I can attest to that the tomatoes that Farmapol grows are just delicious. We're coming here second the weekend in a row, and we ha and Farmapol, in addition to uh, giving us a huge box of amazing fresh organic produce, also lets us pick some tomatoes and I've been picking this uh, I think this early girl there is her loom there is a uh, cherry tomatoes they all taste amazing and uh, I picked up more than we could uh, <laughs> consume in a week but what I'm gonna do we really love pasta and Italian food so I just am going to uh, you know saute them a little bit with garlic and olive oil and freeze them and we can enjoy all year round this is just amazing deal and thank you for that oh it's our pleasure people come out and they you know preserving canning freezing mm -hmm. uh mm -hmm. there's all kinds of ways you can do it but uh it is really a lot of fun you wouldn't believe how the age groups that come out here mm -hmm. from little kids to very old people they all come out they have a great time mm -hmm. And the best part is it's organic. You could just eat straight off the ground. You don't have to worry about anything. Exactly. Uh, that makes it kind of like a, a very special experience. Exactly, exactly. And then um, one other question that I have to you, if people from our community, from Pacifica, from Half Moon Bay want to enjoy your produce, what are the um, various ways that you have that you could deliver this uh, um, you know foods to to the people in the community can you tell a little bit about this the easiest way is to just go online greenheartsfamilyfarm.com mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and uh, if you're uh, curious about it you can go on Yelp and read reviews you know there's mm -hmm. more than 10 years of mm -hmm. folks getting this beautiful box of food mm -hmm. you order it you try it out there's no commitment we try to make it as easy as possible uh, you can buy a whole year's worth uh, you can go week to week. We make it as simple as possible mm -hmm. uh, Or you can just get a subscription. We bring it to you and if you need to pause it for a week or something You just give us a call. Uh, my wife and I run the business together. We answer every email. We answer every phone call personally uh, So there's no uh, closer way to get your food. There's there's just no other way to do it. If uh, if you want fresh organic food, we'll bring it to your house. You'll be happy, I promise. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, and I also wanted to add to that that uh, Farmer Paul runs those um, you know weekend, sometimes mostly Saturdays or Sundays uh, events on Facebook. So if you uh, again uh, like Green Family Farms on Facebook and you follow their events, then you can come out uh, and just enjoy not only the produce but picking the fresh, you know, fruits and vegetables yep. from the the spring the farm. we've got the you pick flowers, mm -hmm. uh, then the mm -hmm. tomatoes come on, we do you pick tomatoes. Uh, and then this time of year is really great because we have our pumpkins, flowers, tomatoes, vegetables. So this is really the best time of year on the farm. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. Best of luck and thank you for everything you're doing for the community. Thank we you. really appreciate that. I appreciate it. And here John is doing a little sketch. John, can you show me the sketch of the farm? Oh, that's really nice. You captured well the bright colors of this farm. Thank you. It's really nice. So it's just the joy to be here today in the fresh air and enjoy the fresh organic produce, meeting friends, meeting with Farmer Paul. You like get here the best of both worlds. It's like an amazing farm, amazing place for both kids and adults alike. I really hope that you will visit the Green Family Farm someday as well and enjoy, enjoy what we're enjoying right now.